For decades now, life in Somalia has been about surviving. Surviving war, famine, and violence. Conflict, the kind the country has witnessed, exacts a toll on everyone, and all the more so on women. A few weeks ago, Gududu Galinle gave birth to her fifth child, a daughter she called Fartoum. But there were complications. Mother and child were at risk. So Gududu was rushed to the Galkayo Medical Center. <laughs> The Gakayo Medical Center was set up by Dr. Abdullah Kadir Gayama in 1997. Initially, it was a private clinic specializing in motherhood care. But overwhelming need changed that. In 2005, the center opened its doors to internally displaced families throughout Galkayo. We have to take care of the patient during the, 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 the pregnancy and let him have a good antenatal care where you can actually identify the high risk patient and monitor it closely during the pregnancy and uh, during the labor and after the labor. The life-saving support of Sheikh Jawahir Bent Mohammed Al Qasimi has helped bring modern facilities, labs, X-ray machines, and modern clinics to the center. It is now a full-fledged referral hospital for most of Somalia. The donations also allow help to go beyond the walls of the hospital. Sururo Robakitsak has been a midwife for over 10 years. She is self-taught, but recently she was trained at the center on safe delivery. And in emergency, she can count on help from the Galkayo Medical Center. For Dr. Giyama, the support the center has received from Her Highness Sheikh Jawahir Bent Mohammed Al Qasimi has been vital. Gududu and Fartoum are home now. Like so many other mothers and children, they are proof that access to health care that was not there before saves lives. 